So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you assemble a WBC brew chamber. The tools you'll need for this will be a hammer, a punch, a tape measure, steel rule, a rubber mallet if you've got one. If you haven't, you probably need a block of wood to stop yourself from bruising the timber with your hammer, pencil, some glue, and again, if you have one, a sash cramp can be quite handy for pulling the joints in together. In your pack, you should have two outside faces, which have this slot cut into them, two inside faces, which are just plain pieces of wood, four of these bars, seven eight square bars, and two of these thin lats, which are gonna make the handles on the boxes. A pair of runners, And your packet of nails to nail it all together with. So the first job is going to be to mark these outside edges, Just give us an idea of where the pins are going to go through these slots. So there's two ways you can do this. You could mark the, the top part in the middle of the slot there and the bottom Take your steel rule, draw a line down through it. And then if you offer up one of your end parts to it, flush with the base, it would make a mark about a quarter to three eighths of an inch up there. Same here. And if you want to, you can measure where the middle is. one in the middle. One little trick you can do now is to take those, transfer those marks onto this piece of wood here. In fact, most times I don't bother with the line. I'll just do that, make the marks on the other piece of wood. And now we can use that as our template to mark the other part. So we make sure that, that is in the middle of this slot here and flush with the bottom. And then we can transfer those marks over. And then the same on this piece. Just make sure that the bottom is always the bottom and you haven't transposed the marks to be the wrong way around on that side. Okay, so now our outsides are all marked up. First thing we're gonna do is put a bead of glue in these slots here. And there's no need to go any higher with the glue than where this piece of wood finishes here. So we're using a powdered resin wood glue. You mix it with water it makes a chemical reaction and you get a bond that's really stronger than the wood itself really but as long as you've got a decent quality exterior wood glue it should be fine so we put some glue in these slots and then we take our inside walls and it's important that the bottom edge lines up flush with this bottom edge let's check we have got the bottom edge So you might need to wiggle it about. So I'm looking for that to be flush there. That's important because the runner is going to end up sitting on here and that's what sets the height of the frames. If you have this piece of wood too high, you can push the frames outside the top of the box and too low and they'll sit down too low and you'll lose your B space underneath the frames. That 
one's flush. Then we take this one, make sure your marks are in the right place so you know where the bottom of your box is. Glue into the slot. Same procedure into these slots. making sure that these are flush. And then we hit them into place. So you can either use your hammer and block of wood, or if you have your rubber mallet, you can use your rubber mallet. If you've got a sash cramp, Pull it in with that on all the sides. Now it's time to nail in where we made our marks. Take our packet of nails. We've got some one inch nails here. And we're going to go down through our marks into that thin piece of wood underneath. We'll just tap them in with the countersink. Okay, so the next job is to fit the bars in to the box and then basically you have one here flush with that top edge and one at the bottom flush with this bottom edge. So we'll put some glue on those and nail them in place. The one in there, press it down. And we're going to nail these from the inside into there. This runner is going to sit in here. And we don't want these nails to be in the way of where the pins are going to go. So if you just offer it up and then make a mark inside that hole, inside that hole. The other two are going to split there and there, so we won't interact with this hole at all. And nail it in place. Just making sure all the time that it's nice and flush. So we might have to move that one out a bit there. Yeah, that's flush there. You can see I can move the bar backwards and forwards until it comes flush with that face. And then put the nail in. see I'm just trying to make sure that that bar ends up level with this top face as a thin part and then with the base again it needs to be level with the bottom of that thinner part and then we just repeat the process for this side Okay, the next part is to fit these two thin lats on this top bit here. A, it forms a handle and B, it finishes off the box so we haven't got this gap here. 
So we're going to spread some glue along this whole face here and then nail it in with the same one inch pins that we've just used. the bar on there. I'm just looking to make sure this is even at both ends and is flush with the top of the box. I'm going to put a pin in there. And then the same on the other side for this last piece. So the final thing to check is to measure your diagonals now across here and here and make sure that that's the same number and that'll mean the box is square. If it's not square, say it was too big across this way, just push it in, it'll flex. It's only going to be, you know, a mil out or so. But that is now exactly spot on. So that's the box square. Our last job is to put the runners in. Make sure it's pushed right down. And there we have a completed WBC brew chamber.